I'm Kelly D and today I'm sharing with you another delicious easy recipe from the pumpkin. Now my mom always used to say cut pumpkin can't keep and I always wondered what that meant. I learned many years later that as long as you cut a pumpkin you have to use it all because the cut pumpkin can't keep. So today I'm going to show you a lovely recipe that you can use if you have a pumpkin that's already cut. We're going to be making pumpkin and ginger soup. For this week, we have some amazing recipes. Over here, you're going to see this dish from Cafe Anne. It looks great. On this side, you'll see one from Margaret. And over here, this one from Rohan. So guys, I expect to see you sending some pictures as well of all of these recipes that you have been trying. Remember, there is something special for you at the end of the month. So send your pictures of all the recipes you have been trying and you will be in time for something special. If you are accustomed to eating out, you will always find a pumpkin soup on your menu because that is fine dining. So I'm gonna show you how you can get the fine dining experience at home. So let's go over the ingredients. We have one pound of pumpkin. Now I would have cut the pumpkin, removed the skin, then cut it into smaller pieces so it's easier to cook. One pound of pumpkin. We have three small English potatoes or you can use two medium sized ones. I would have removed the skin also, cut them into some smaller pieces and I have them soaking in water because this prevents them from turning brown when it starts to oxidize. We also have one large carrot that I chopped. Quarter pound of ginger. I also removed the skin, cut it into some smaller pieces for our recipe. We have one medium sized sweet pepper chopped. One medium sized onion chopped. We're gonna use one cup of vegetable stock and a half cup of water. We have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, half teaspoon of curry, half teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of thyme, this is dried thyme, or salt and pepper, half teaspoon each, and some oil for sauteing. Our first step when it comes to making our pumpkin and ginger soup is to saute our onion and sweet pepper. So I would just add some oil to the pan and I'll allow it to get hot for 30 seconds and I'll add our onions and sweet pepper and allow them to soften. Now our pan is ready. It's time to add our onion and sweet pepper and allow them to saute. Make sure the, pan, the stove is medium to high and allow it to saute. Mmm, it smells so good already. You must tire of hearing me say that onion and sweet pepper is one of the best scents in the kitchen. Now while this is sauteing, I'm just going to add salt and pepper to the mix. Now we're going to add our potatoes, we're going to add our carrots, and we're going to add our pumpkin. Now adding them and sauteing them first. Before we add our water, this adds another level of flavor. So we're going to allow these to just cook for maybe about five or so minutes. And then we're going to add our, oops, almost forgot, we're going to add in our ginger. And allow our ginger to, the flavor of the ginger to permeate throughout the potatoes and the pumpkin and the carrots. And after about five minutes or so, we're going to add the remainder of our seasoning and then we're going to add our onion, our vegetable stock and water. Now we're going to add our seasoning, our perfect seasoning, our thyme, curry and paprika. It smells amazing. You can see some of our vegetables are starting to soften and we haven't even added the water yet. So now I'm going to add just a half cup of water. It's going to cool things down a bit. Then we're going to add our vegetable stock and we'll allow this to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until everything is nice and tender. 
Then we'll get ready to blend this amazing soup. is now done just look at this gorgeous color you would have allowed it to cool for a few moments now it's time to taste this is a perfect appetizer if you choose to do fine dining while at home you get a lovely aroma from the soup mmm mmm a definite fine dining experience. You get a subtle taste of the ginger, like some undertones of ginger somewhere going on. Pumpkin and ginger soup. Now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this soup recipe, you need to look over here and watch this other amazing soup recipe that will pop up in another second or so. And once you've watched that, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave a comment. I love hearing from you.